Hey guys, okay, so I just wanted to start out by saying Merry Christmas, almost, to everyone, and Happy Holidays, or whatever. Uh, um, I'm hopefully going to be getting a new camera for Christmas because I want to do a closet tour and all this other stuff that I can't do with this webcam because I can't bring it anywhere with me so I'm going to have to sit here while you guys stare at this hideous blue couch for every single one of my videos and it just makes me want to like poke an eye out because I'm so sick of it. Okay, and I don't mean to be like a weirdo like trying to sell you guys stuff but I just thought of it because this dress was sitting on the couch. I'm selling this on eBay because I wore it to prom and I realized I won't ever wear it again. It's a really pretty white halter dress. Um, if you're interested at all, if you have like a wedding to go to or you just want to get a prom dress early or anything like that, it's above the knee. Go to eBay and type in Jessica McClintock size 8 halter dress and you'll find it. Um, I think the starting bid price is like $65, which is really inexpensive for a prom dress. But whatever, we'll move on now. Okay, sorry about the longest intro of all time. So, everyone knows there's like a million self-tanners in the world, right? And you probably never know which one to buy unless you try it and it sucks or you try it and you liked it. So, I decided I would break down my self-tanners into groups of like sprays versus gels versus foams versus lotions for like pale, medium, dark, whatever, skin tones so that you guys can have a much easier time finding a self-tanner than I did because it took me three years to, you know, gather my collection. And you don't have to be scared to get a self-tanner because you'll know from moi if it's going to be good for you or it's going to make you look like an orange. So the first category is people that have very pale skin that just want a little bit of color so that they don't look like Casper. Nothing drastic. No Oompa Loompa status, no Snooky status, just a little bit of a glow. Alright, speaking of glow, both of them that I'm going to be showing you have the name glow in them, so you should already know. Um, Jergens, I talked about this a zillion times, but this will get you tan very slowly. You have to use this for a couple days to even begin to see any color. You won't really see much after the first night. After two to three nights, you'll start to see it to build up. And that's even with the for dark skin one. For the light skin one, you know, don't be afraid. Use it. Try it out. And it's not going to make you orange. It's not going to be streaky or anything unless you use it too much. Another one like that, but slightly more of, you know, a color, is Sublime Glow by L'Oreal. Um, this one's for medium skin tones. I've never seen it for light or dark or whatever. I've only just seen medium in stores. This one has sparkles in it, and it's, you know, you're going to need to use this also two to three days to get substantial color, but one day will give you a little bit more than the Jergens, but it's not going to be something drastic where you're just orange the next day immediately and you can't even go out because you just look horrible. All right, if you're interested in more of a spray, first off, I recommend that you have someone else do it for you. Unless there's no one in your life that you feel comfortable, you know, seeing you naked or in a bikini or whatever, however you do your spray tans. But a lighter one would be this one, Neutrogena Micro Mist. Um, this is not going to get you that much darker. It says deep, it'll get you three shades darker. Don't let that scare you. It really won't do that much for you. But it definitely will show up the next day, just not in an extremely dark way. If you're more experienced with sprays, I would suggest this one. Yeah, I'll show you the back. It's like this one, Sublime Bronze from L'Oreal. This one's going to be a lot darker than that, but not like super, super dark. But for this one, you want to make sure that you're really doing it the right way. Like if you just spray your arm, whatever, like all around, you will have streaks. So that's why it's better if someone else does it for you. But this will give you a little bit of a darker color compared to this one, which won't. So I have two more to show you. This one is for people that don't even want to mess with self-tanner. They're like, screw that. I don't want to like dye my body a different color. That's weird. But they do want to be tan without, you know, going in a tanning bed. It says, this is from Victoria's Secret. I don't know if they still sell this, but I'm pretty sure you can get something exactly like it at Bath and Body Works or wherever else. This is a tan enhancer shimmer lotion with a tint in it. 
it says it's for after sun and that's why I bought it because I thought it would be like a good moisturizer for after you go tanning but it didn't turn out that way it's kind of like makeup for your body which for some people can be annoying because it's very thick and you have to make sure you rub it in really well and let it dry so it doesn't get on your clothes even though like it still might but it's worth a try you might like it I mean I don't use it that much just because I don't know I prefer using self tanners over this because I would prefer like staying tan because this will wash off right in the shower so my last category is for people that want a more dark self tanner so my first one is this one L'Oreal Sublime Bronze Gel and it's different from the spray or anything just because this if you use it one night the next morning you'll have a substantial color it'll be about the same as if you use Jergens whoops Jergens for like three days um you have to make sure to rub it in really well though because it can become streaky if you just kind of lazily is that even a word put it on your skin um, the one I'm using right now, though, that I like the best so far is Saint Tropez. And the only reason I bought this is because I had a gift card to Sephora. This is like $42. Like, holy shit. Like, that's a lot of money, especially for a self-tanner. But I think it's worth it, especially because I only had to pay $10 of it because I had a $30 gift card. But you can probably get this for cheaper online somewhere. I don't know. This, you can tell with the good self-tanners, comes out brown. Like, it looks like straight up like poop or something. Like there's no orange in it. I mean that sounded really weird. But you know what I mean. Like it's brown. This one and the Sun Labs one is also brown. Um, I'll put a little bit on its tissue so you can say. I don't know. This camera again freaking sucks. Like it's a foam and it's just there's no orange tint to it. Because some of the other ones have orange tints to them. And doesn't necessarily mean they're bad, it's just not going to give you as natural as a color. And what I like about this one is it's really dark, yet it's a natural tan. It's like it's easy to use and it doesn't smell bad, it smells really good. So this one's probably my number one. If you use this one over the course of like two days, you'll have the perfect tan. Dark, amazing, wonderful. Alright, so that's all I have to say about that. Um, comment me if you have any questions or if you just want to tell me how much you hated this video. Just kidding. But leave me suggestions also. I'm trying to do something about lip glosses soon and a closet tour and whatever else you guys want to see. So everyone subscribe and I'll see you all later.